A cure for the uncurable. A drug shows promise treating terminal cancers. And there's only one center in the state where you can get it. And winter months can be deadly for infants. What parents can do to reduce their baby SIDS risk. Jennifer Crockett joins us now with today's 33MD. A cancer center in Baton Rouge is giving terminal cancer patients a shot at survival. Pennington Cancer Center and the Baton Rouge General are having success treating two types of cancers that are known killers and had no cure until now. No cure, no treatment, no chance at survival. Once melanoma or kidney cancer have spread and metastasized or spread to the liver, the lungs, the bones, or the skin, then there is no curative treatment. These are the facts for patients with metastatic melanoma and metastatic kidney cancers until now. But IL-2 is changing that because we are seeing patients now. Our first patient we treated nine years ago is still in remission. Pennington Cancer Center in Baton Rouge is the only cancer center in Louisiana offering the treatment. And for doctors here, it's a breakthrough. And we've never had anything close to this. Once melanoma spreads, 90 percent of patients die within five years. Most patients die from the disease within a year of diagnosis. Patients with metastatic kidney cancer face even worse odds. Their survival rate is less than 5%. But with IL-2, patients have a chance to be a cancer survivor rather than a statistic. My first cancer was uh, from a mole, which turned out to be melanoma in 1973. Becky Lalonde has lived with cancer ever since. She survived breast cancer and thyroid cancer only to be diagnosed with melanoma again this year. And it was in the routine colonoscopy that they found a polyp that had melanoma in it. The cancer had spread to her lungs. Surgery was not an option, but IL-2 was. Dr. Militello told her they had a good shot at remission. I had complete trust in him, so what he recommended is what I did. High-dose IL-2 is different from most cancer treatments because it's an immune-stimulating treatment. IL-2 activates specialized defense cells called T-cells and natural killer cells to attack and destroy cancer. The Pennington Center at Baton Rouge General has specialized treatment rooms and staff specifically designated for IL-2. It was a very intense treatment and I needed a lot of care. Today, Becky's cancer is in remission and she hopes to spend the rest of her life cancer-free. Dr. Militello says patients have much more success with the therapy when it's used first before other cancer treatments. But IL-2 is not without risk. It's been approved by the FDA for more than a decade. But the intense therapy is not widely known because of complex protocols and medical management. For more information on IL-2, log on to our website, NBC33TV.com.